Hey everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Today we have Dirt Perfect's Volvo 140 up at the property, clearing trees for the future pond job. We're gonna pull off of that for just a little bit to go deliver him and man behind the scenes a little bit of dirt. Another idea, I can be giving him one direction in this mirror and you can be giving him a direction, <laughs> opposite direction in the other mirror. Yeah, then you tell him to stop and I'll tell him to go. Of course, they're gonna have a little bit too much fun with that. And we have a little bit too much fun by losing a hydraulic line later in the day. Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been with us for a while, well, welcome back. You can see we have a fire going behind us there. Got that started this morning. Here's a quick clip of that. You guys get it? Because it's nighttime, it was dark, you couldn't see anything. Anywho, we got the Volvo 140 up there. We're working on getting the rest of this cleared out and burnt up. Some of that cleared up and burnt up. Cleared out and burnt up, rather. I could sit here and explain the whole project, or we could just jump into it. But you guys did see, didn't you? Got the ladder cam out. Pulling out all stops for you guys today. Let me find a spot for that ladder cam. We'll get going. See this trail over here? That's where we're going to. But here's the before shot. And we'll see what she looks like at the end of the day. So if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you may notice something weird about today's upload. It is Tuesday. Typically, we upload Thursdays and Sundays. But the reason we uploaded today is because we've just got a lot of content going on. So I had a couple options. Either make hour-long videos, which I don't think any of us want to do that, or just sprinkle in a few Tuesdays every now and then like we used to do. So you may see that from time to time. 
coming up with all the projects we have. I may just sprinkle in a Tuesday every now and then just to make sure we're keeping up to date on the projects and the videos are manageable length for you all. Burn pile is not quite taken off as well as I'd hoped, but that's okay. You guys know I split firewood, but I don't use firewood, so we've got plenty of old firewood laying around. We're just gonna build a fire underneath the fire. I don't know. So we got some little flames in there. Gotta move this leaf so you can see the fire roaring. Anyway, you can see it in there. It won't take long. She'll climb up through there. So that is burning really well now. We'll go ahead and gently set these piles on there. Let that stuff start cooking. Keep on keeping on. As we work our way around this side, I'm just taking everything I clear, break it into a couple sections with the machine, spin it around, throw it behind me in a somewhat organized pile, and then we'll just take the blade and the bucket and push it all over to the burn pile and get it thrown on there.
enough to uh, try to get this corner in a pass. There's some bigger stuff up in here, so we'll see how this turns out on this side. A lot of, a lot of little hard maples in here. So we're going to try something. A new camera angle. We got this old broken axe. We're going to drive her in there. We're going to set you guys on there with a magnetic mount looking up the tree. We're going to call it axe cam. You have to really enunciate that one to not get in trouble. Axe cam. Let's give her a go. Well, let's see what this does. So if you're not familiar, this is a split pond between myself and my neighbor. The property line will pretty much go right down the middle of it. You'll notice there's some larger trees, one kind of close to the screen and one down to the right. There's probably eight or nine larger trees, a few down by the fire as well. He wants to save those for firewood, so we're saving those for last, making as much room as possible by getting this other stuff out of the way. And then we'll have a big open spot where we can lay those larger trees down and cut those up.
press up there. One forty, looking good, sitting over there, looking real good. Fire's burning really well too. It'll burst up through there in just a hot minute. This is the outer perimeter of what we're clearing too. We have most of the scrub and smaller stuff from this side on there already. We're pretty much left with let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine big trees, and then these hard maples laying here. But this is going to be chainsaw work. We'll push them over, but then use the chainsaw to get them separated so we can get them on the pile without tearing the uh, tearing the bucket up or the machine up too bad. Chainsaw will save us a little bit of effort there. And then we just have to hop onto this side and if you see that, see that green X right there on that tree? There's a couple of them. That's as far as we're going that way, that green X. So just a few trees along that side over there onto that fire. And then some cleanup work? I don't know. I'm pretty happy with how it's going. I'm very happy with how it's going. Very happy with how it's going. Like I said, Mike needs some dirt hold, so uh, I just called the neighbor. He's gonna come up and check on his fire while I'm gone, so that'll work out great. I'll be back just a little bit. So I didn't do too much with this part of the day. Mike needed three loads of dirt, two loads of topsoil, and one load of fill. So we're just gonna haul a couple of these real quick. Like I said, this is only a three minute clip out of the video but it was part of the day so I decided to throw it in there. I think we should just like mess with Captain after he backs in here like no 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 over six inches. I like what he chew. <laughs> hey I got another Good idea. I can be giving him one direction in this mirror and you can be giving him a direction <laughs> the opposite direction in the other mirror. Yeah, and you tell him to stop and I'll tell him to go. <laughs> wow, where are you going? Oh, well, hey, you got a history with mirrors. Be careful, we don't need a repeat. Come on back a little more. That'll work. Whoa! I think he's got any dirt in there. It's a surprise. Watch that cedar tree. It's all for that load, folks. As soon as we got back from hauling that dirt, from Mike's, we hopped down in here and started getting the rest of this cleaned up. And while we were gone, all of those little hard maples we pushed over, my neighbor Gary had actually already come up with his chainsaw and got all of them cut up. So they're all ready to be picked up. You can kind of see them to the left of the screen there, sitting up there by his gator. They're all cut up, ready to be picked up and go throw on the fire. Oh, 
little bundles like this. So while I was gone though, the fire did die down quite a bit. Whenever you're burning green wood, and you guys if you do this, you know this, whenever you're burning green wood, you kind of have to keep it tight, keep it together to keep it going. And uh, I was kind of away for it for too long. So Gary brought his leaf blower up and we we're going to uh, try to get this thing going again. So Gary is down there working on that and I just pushed his tree over. Gary's down there cleaning the top up now. I just pushed his tree over, heard an odd noise back here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but see right here? See the other seat? And it's not a magic trick. It's not, there's a hose. There should be right there. So that's kind of a bummer. We're going to, uh, well, a couple things. We're going to get that off there, figure out where the other end of the hose went. And, uh, well, we're just going to have to get a new one. No two ways around that. No two ways around. Oh god. Okay. Yep, that came off. Look at that. That would be that would be the culprit, the one that's not attached. Oh god. We're going down. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's the culprit. If there is a silver lining, it is that it happened here. Oh god. Not on a not on a job Mike's trying to make money on. That is a silver lining. Come on, baby. Oh, okay, there she goes. So we got that to look at. And it's a pretty short hose. So we'll call that a plus side too. And it's not terrible to access. It's not too bad anyway. Look at this. So here's the rubber liner. Here's the rubber liner, you guys see that? I don't know. What the heck, man? What's this thing rated at? 5,000 PSI line. That's odd. I do believe this was our weak point. All right. Well, all I can do is get a new one and fix it. All right. Well, the good news is we got the machine fixed, but I think I took too many pieces off of it. It seems to be smaller. So we got the hose fixed. We did get the hose fixed, but you guys ready for a little bit of a roller coaster? Mike had an emergency job come up for the 140. He came and got the 140, that's fine. 
So that's the bad news, the 140's gone. The good news is the hose did get fixed. There's also good news that we did get quite a bit cleared and the bulk of what's left is over on that side and is small enough for this machine. The other good news is Gary got a lot of this pile burnt. You can see how much burnt up in there. We're gonna bring the 304 over here, get this pushed back together, hit it with the leaf blower. You still see there's some heat and smoke coming out of there. See if we can get this pile consolidated and burn it hot again. So we kinda got that shoved back in the hole. There's definitely some smoke coming in there. I'm gonna run up and grab the leaf blower and put the leaf blower on it for just a hot minute. See if we can't get, uh, see if we can't get something started up. So we got it thrown together on this side a little bit. We'll track around to the opposite side of the fire and start getting it pushed in there, getting it packed in there tight. You'll see the color of the smoke start to change a little bit as it starts to get into the wood. Get down there with a leaf blower. Now she's going pretty good. There's just something cool about smoke and time lapse. I don't know what it is, but I just really, really like that. I think it's cool to watch. So that is burning hot, burning really well. We've got that thrown together pretty well. One problem with building a burn pile using 140 size scoops is they kind of have to pick it apart with the 304, but it's definitely better than doing it by hand, so no complaints there. Another view from this side. And if anybody's worried about as far as fire spreading, one, the humidity is crazy. It's not really that much of an issue here with the weather we're having. Also, Hurricane Laura is supposed to roll in starting tomorrow and we're supposed to get rain I don't know, for like a week straight, it's gonna be crazy. If you're dealing with that hurricane, by the way, if it's already come through and impacted you, just know we're thinking about you, you're definitely in our thoughts. I'm gonna go ahead, jump on that machine and start clearing the other stuff behind me, but that'll be the next video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button, be sure you ring that bell so you get notifications. I've had a few people say notifications aren't popping up. Just double check that little bell is clicked. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.